Into It UK is a youth-led charity that aims to raise awareness of gender-based issues such as FGM, uh, violence against women and girls, and we do that through various media projects, so music videos, films, and we go into schools, talk to pupils, um, and we also train frontline professionals, so teachers, doctors, lawyers, um, and anyone else who wants to listen about the causes that we are campaigning for. When we choose what topics um, we would like to focus on next, um, it's always the interest of the young people, so the young people decide. We have young people as our trustees um, and they get really heavily involved in different aspects of the charity, so the business side, communications. This charity is always for young people, by young people. The reason why I first joined Integrate was because one of my aunts died from FGM as soon as she's had it and also the other has died from childbirth. There was law put in place to protect them and that hasn't stopped them from being cut. Realising that there were women that I knew, girls that I knew were going through this practice and no one was doing anything to protect them um, made me feel really guilty um, and I felt like I was being part of that abuse by not talking about it. I am a guy but I'm proud to actually fight for women's rights. If we have everybody on board uh, then things like FGM can be eradicated within a generation. Now we're going into um, new work, which is child sexual exploitation, radicalisation and gang culture. I never really knew about any of these topics, especially radicalisation, considering that it happened to someone in my school. Help me find out what's really going on here. It helped me open my eyes to like what's happening around the world and it's changed me for the better. So in the last year we've reached uh, just under 6,000 people directly, um, well over 800,000 people uh, indirectly, so that's through our media projects and through news appearances and things like that. We've moved from a, a small classroom in an intercity school to a proper office where we have you know, part-time, full-time staff. We're shortlisted for the Liberty Human Rights Award, um, which is a massive thing for us, um, and we won the With and For Girls Award and that's our first international award. It's, it's a massive honour for us. We're going from Integrate Bristol to Integrate UK because um, a lot of our work is um, national, so we do go all over the UK, and also um, we have some international work. Luna Hassan, for example, uh, gave a TEDx talk. Some of our young people have been to Zambia, they've been invited to Amsterdam, um, and I was invited to Washington to uh, speak at the UN. We already have so many uh, bookings for the next year for our outreach work, and so it just shows that we're growing and expanding. Yes. Oh. great are going to carry on being legends um, and achieving great things, you know, increase the numbers of the people we've reached, but also giving young people. Um, more opportunities. We're planning on starting a social enterprise um, and that's great for our young people because it'll give um, young people that are interested in things like business a lot of great experience. From next year we're starting work on honor crimes and forced marriages. Um, this is really important to me and close to me because I came from a affected community and I've seen girls suffering and also boys as well. Um, so I think it's really important to talk about these issues. We should just keep growing, keep expanding, going into the corners where nobody has uh, reached yet, um, reaching those people and making sure that our message is heard. And hopefully one day we'll go international. <laughs>